Okay, I'm here today to tell you about how to professionally scare people. Uh, that's me. Right, that's a YouTube personality who uh, came through Terror Behind the Walls last year. That's her walking through the attraction I was in. So I am here to tell you about my what I've learned in my years since 2013 of working in different kinds of haunted houses and horror attractions. So why do haunt actors matter? Because haunted houses need us to breathe life into the environment. You can have all sorts of crazy sets and animatronics, but you are nothing in your haunted house without your actors. We are super important for yeah. creating a suspension of disbelief that the audience can take with them through the entire experience. So the need to know for if you want to be a great haunt actor is safety first, always, how to scare safe, and let's start right there. So get to know your scaria. I can't take credit for that pun, unfortunately. So, this is super important, not just for the audience, but also for yourself. There are a lot of different things uh, regarding that. Mainly, haunted houses are pretty dangerous. They're very dark, and you have to just get used to the darkness and know your area like the back of your hand. The chaos and confusion you create will work because you know your entire area. So, some people are just there to be douchebags. It is no. They are going to be paying $20 to be verbally aggressive to all of the people who can't legally, like, you know, follow them home. So, that's why it's super important to read your audience really carefully. Know that if someone's going to be super aggressive, it's not worth it. Just scare the person behind them. That asshole up front doesn't get a show. Doesn't matter, we have your money, now go away. <laughs> People don't read when they're scared. Fear is the mind killer. <laughs> Assume that no one's going to listen to the rules. Just right off the bat, uh, <laughs> assume they don't know how to act. With that being said, it doesn't matter if they haven't listened to the rules, you are not there to break character and remind them. So it's very important, and we'll touch back on this again, that you don't break character, and you let them fuck up, and then call security. <laughs> so, that is an actor getting a flashlight shown in his face by an audience member being a fucking dick. <laughs> People will always be live streaming, they will always be recording you, and you can't, again, you cannot break character. Lurk. Keep lurking in the darkness. <laughs> Just keep, when in doubt, keep your distance. If you're not sure if someone's going to like come at you, there are certain things you can't avoid. Like if somebody like pees on you when you're not looking, real shit, real talk, this real happens. Talk, yeah, yeah, talk. This happened, this yeah. has actually happened. People do stupid shit in haunted houses and like sometimes you can't control it. However, you have to know to be on your guard at all times and <laughs> Fun fact, haunted houses are fucking loud. They are the loudest places you will ever be in, and you've got a high adrenaline environment where everyone's screaming, the audience is yelling and laughing, and it's great, but you can't compete with that all the time. It's important to drink lots and lots of water. Hydrate not just for your voice, but hydrate because you need to be on your feet for maybe like eight to 10 hours some days at a time just getting through the night, so. Take care of your voice, take care of your body, and you'll be able to execute the scare. Now remember, just because there's a bunch of assholes in the world wandering around, for every handful of people that are coming through being a dick to you, there are hundreds of thousands of people out there that just want to be scared and have a good time. And those are the people who you want to entertain, and those are the people who deserve the show that they paid for. So now we get to the fun part. I swear, this is the most fun job in the world. <laughs> So, scare goals. How do we do it? You have to play to your strengths. Chances are you want this job because you're already a performer and you like attention. <laughs> you do. So you have to play to your strengths. If you're an improver, if you're a mover, great. It's all good. And it's really for any different type of person. If you're small and you know how to creep, 
if you're big and you can just physically intimidate somebody by just standing there and rubbing a chainsaw, then you're great. And it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Like, for example, I could just tell you how to wash a dish. Like, you just take that mug and you're gonna get it nice and soapy. <laughs> you want soap on your dishes, don't you? See? Okay. <laughs> so it's important to know to think on your feet. Your timing is everything. Your timing is super important. I couldn't, I couldn't stop myself. I had to. But really, it's super important. If there's an emergency, if somebody's like drunk and falling on their face and we have to stop the show, then you have to make sure that you know where to go and where to be. Things like that. Audience interaction is a huge, huge part of the job. You need eye contact is very, very important. Like you can, you know, get up and someone, make them think that they're really important to you. And then get someone it's hot. I don't know why I'm picking on you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> there are certain people, like I'll always hear it, like, oh my god, Rebecca, they always pick you. Like, I hear this. Uh, like, it's a thing. So the element of surprise, as I'm sure I've touched on, is super important. Misdirection, distractions, if you're stalking them, you just, like, it's really simple. Just let them know you're there with, like, a little breath on the back of their neck. <laughs> and if, you know, if you have it at your disposal, if you have other actors that are there to help you out, then that is great. Teamwork makes the dream work. You want to scare together. If you can ping pong back and forth with another actor, and you can make sure that if a group is coming, you can hit it right at the front, make the first person go, oh, holy shit, and then step back, melt back, and just get them from the middle, right in here. And then they're still going, and that's basically, that's your basic conga line, if people are just like so scared that they're hanging onto each other, they can't let go. And then, and then you have to get them from the back. You have to, if they're still running away, just let them know you're there, just be like, like, what the fuck? There's this one New York Times article that had a lot of great shots. <laughs> this is from Halloween Horror Nights in Florida. And this is why it's the most fun job in the world. Now, it's really important that you get in and get out and you don't linger and you scare and you reset because the impact is a lot better once they... Yes, so just, they see you, they know you're there, and then you're gone. And that is what's super effective, and that's what they'll make you free. They're like, yo, dude, I swear there was someone right there. And it's great. <laughs> Very important to make sure that your timing is on point. You don't want to, let's see, you want to remember that you are the link in a chain. And what you know what they've already experienced, you know what they're going towards. And so you want to make sure that whatever show you're giving them is going to be completely different from anything they've experienced and what they're going to experience after you. Again, part of the element of surprise, as we touched on before, is that if you are able to give them something totally unexpected and be like, ha ha ha, you don't even know what's coming, and they're like, what do you mean? And they're like, you're going to find out. <laughs> 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 I'm happy to open up the last uh, 30 seconds or so for any questions no you questions, may have. No questions. No, no questions. No questions. No questions. We'll be done? Forever. Are you sure? I'm positive. Are you positive? <laughs> yeah. Questions from the audience is the scariest thing I've ever heard. <laughs>